Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. I've arrived back at the forest, trying to find the name of Doinlin's lover. And now, thanks to the new patch, I'm able to actually read the inscriptions again. And I'm thinking it's this one. Hythe. A poet at heart. A warrior by circumstance. Spared the torment of the emerald fire by his love's merciful blade. Just the reference to his love's merciful blade makes me think maybe that was Doinlin's lover. I swear, though, Hythe is one of the names that I thought we told Doinlin. And they rejected, but I don't know. That really sounds like it. Let's go try it out. It's Tilo. Tilo the Minstrel. Welcome, good mouse. If you have a question, pray ask it. I think I have the name. The name on the stone was Hythe. Hythe, you're certain. What? By all means? Oh, oh, I went with the default one, the wait, let me think. I am sure of it. Hythe, I, Hythe. This place was named for both of us. Your true love. What do you remember of him? I remember the joy of our love and the pain of his death. How did you meet? We were both of us born within the walls of Castle Dahl, within a year of each other. His father was Chamberlain, mine the steward. And oh, we fought. We were great rivals, the two of us. After father passed away, my family left the castle. We did not meet again until many years had passed, during the War of the Green Flame. So Hythe, who was he? He was architect of the Ring of Great Clarions. I was assigned to be his personal guard. In time, we grew close. Oh, just the Great Clarions description again. The Clarions, they were built by creatures. Aye, by the shipbuilders of Baladon. The Badgers of Baladon. The Badgers of Baladon are the great seafaring culture of the Northern Seas. Records of their voyages date back almost 5,000 years, and their myths even further. The oldest tells of Baladon's discovery by the first of the Badgers, who drifted down from the heavens on the trunk of a fallen tree. Yet their exploration is driven not by the desire to conquer, but by their natural curiosity, their appetite, and an instinct for foraging. Baladon is densely forested, and the badgers are renowned for their skill in carpentry. The syllabub tree, which grows in great numbers along the coast of Baladon, possesses a natural resistance to the corrosive powers of seawater, and ships built from their timber are in high demand. Indeed, many of the Redpaw's finest vessels began their lives in the forests and shipyards of Baladon, before being hauled some 800 miles across the northern Ratlands to languish in the erosive waters of Lake Valia. Shipbuilders. I always imagined they were left there by giants. Not giants. Badgers. Though by their deeds, the best of them seemed like giants. The smallest among us are capable of greatness when the need is great. Scythe was an architect. An architect, a sculptor, an inventor, a musician, and a warrior. He was a great mind, and my love. We were to be wet and keen once the war was ended, but for us, it never came. My lady, forgive me, but the thief. Do you remember, do you remember now where he is? Aye, at the gateway to the northern slopes. The gateway to the northern slopes, where is that? East of here, through the glade, stands a stone bridge. At the bridge's end, there is a door. Beyond that door to the north stands a gateway. Meet me in there, Anon. Not exactly sure where that is. Oh, hey. 
I just realized I'm hurt. I don't know how long I've been hurt for. Better heal up. You really do, do go through food fast. Okay, so what does the quest say exactly? Meet Doinlin at the Armory Stairwell. Oh. Okay, I know where that is. Please, my lady, tell me more about your life. Oh, no more questions, I guess. Where's the thief? I don't see him. The thief? The mouse is here, beneath these rocks. Oh, that, uh, yeah, down below, there's that spot that I thought maybe I could, like, blast my way through. It looked like it had caved in. I guess they're in there. How did this happen? Misfortune. And gravity. <laughs> did he suffer? Well, he is squashed, good mouse. Under a pile of rocks? I would think, no. It will take a small army to move this rubble. Or a cask of brissens. Brissens? How am I going to get my paws on brissens? At the foot of this stairwell is the old armory. You may find what you seek there. Well, I've already found that, but I need the key. I'm grateful for your help, my lady. Is there anything I can do for you in return? I... I have no right to ask this of you, good mouse. But will you tend the graves of my comrades? So many of them lie buried in these woods. Please, light a candle in their name, so they are remembered. Well, that's easy. It's already done. Take this. Oh. Whoops. I think they gave me the key to the obelisk thing. At the foot of Yoth's obelisk sits a chest. Inside are instructions that will guide you in this task. It would be an honor, my lady. Honor the dead. And Far Tower map. Now I got a map of this place. Cool. Don't really need it, though. Honor the dead. Too many fell here in the Clarion's defense. The names of all but nine forever lost to memory, death, and time. By those nine names, may the sacrifices of all be known, and let these candles burn eternal in their stead. And, sh and should some ill wind snuff them out, may it be upon the conscience of all good creatures to see these candles lit once more in the solemn order that our nine heroes fell. Yoth fell first here at the forest's gate, then did Ole, the archer, looking north towards his home. Hythe was taken next, before Canlan, southwest of the Clarion, fell. Uh, it's kind of, hmm, some bits of it are messed up. Okay, well, I don't think the other ones matter until we get to the other obelisks that we found through the harbor. I think it said we've got four of the nine of them done. There it is. Ten the graves of the fallen. Four out of nine. Yes. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, we almost got seen. Not that it'd be that big of a deal, because I'm in my ranger outfit. But when I've done some exploring off camera, there's actually a bunch of different things that can happen when you get caught. You can just talk your way out of it sometimes, but sometimes you get unlucky and they do something like... Um, one of them took something from my bag, I'm not sure exactly what. I'm assuming just like food or sticks or bottles or something. But also sometimes I can send you all the way back to the jail, which is just really annoying. Okay, the Rockfall quest says the store is locked, a note tells you the blacksmith has the key. I remember when I first went to the uh, 
The armor placed inside the Brissons. I think there was a note there that made me think that, yeah, the blacksmith probably would have the key, but then I tried to talk to them about it, and there was no dialogue option for it. I guess you have to get to the right point in this quest for, the, for you to be able to talk to them about it. Let's see. Need to find a few things. Is this the one? Yes. I need a key for the Brisson store. Well, now, there's only one key, and I have it. What would you need with Brissons? Wow, I can tell them a lot of things. I'm gonna fight back against the Red Paw. <laughs> I needed to clear the rubble from the armory stairwell. Been meaning to get around to that. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for you to take a look at it. You've worked with Brissons before, I suppose. I, of course. Good. Then you know how to handle it. The stuff we have stored here is old. I'd rather not use it if it was up to me. Somebody's helping you move it, I suppose. Uh, aye, of course. Good. If it's not kept steady, it'll go up. Here. The smithy takes a key from his apron pocket and passes it to you. Uh, for the person's door, leave it in the lock. I'll pick it up later. I'm trusting you, mouse. Don't let me down. And don't blow up the keep. Love the sloshy noises it makes. it up? I thought I was blowing this up. Huh. I guess it is up there. Alright. Oh yeah. There it is. That's just for fun. Man, that got really close. Alright, I know this thing blows up extremely fast, so... Run! chest just right there. Silver ring, that's what Silas was looking for. Return to Silas. Oh, I see a rose over there too. I wonder where this goes. Looks like it's actually like part of the Far Tower map. I want to explore around here before I go back to Silas. And I wonder, now that we have strong arm, maybe I can use a stick? to break a beehive, because before I had to use a bottle, the stick was too weak. Nope. Looks like it did, like, half damage. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess that's better. Probably nothing up here. I don't think you're supposed to be up here, but I don't care. Sixteen out of seventeen. You know, I should really read those. I think I've got like four backed up. Let's do that. Don't want them to back up too much. Ah, yes, here we were on number eleven. Yeah, it was about how the rat guard had seized the mine. They've been digging it too deep. Spiders were coming out, burrowing unseen into the earth. The spider was already dead when you reached the high meadow, Mara's hatchet sticking from its eye. Bryn was crying more startled by his mother's scream than by the spider's bite. He was deathly quiet now, laid over your shoulder as you hurried through the snow. 
Mara close behind. Ahead, barely visible through the squall, you could just make out the... Fern Road? Is that an F? I don't know. The Fern Road checkpoint. Just beyond lay the torches of the mine, and the healer who might save your child. Oh, so that's how Bryn died. Venom from a spider bite. The two sentries held you at the checkpoint for what seemed like an age, uncertain what to do, while they waited for their sergeant to return. He cursed them both for their stupidity, the sergeant, and, with your son cradled beneath his cape, he saddled his mount and rode hell for leather for the mine. But Bryn died there on the fern road. Spring came, but no flowers grew. In the fields, the crops failed, the blooms, like Bryn's grave, smothered beneath the spider's webs. Mara watched quietly from the ridge, a thin straggle of handcarts and wagons heading out, away from Hamel, the fields aflame, the village an island in a golden sea. Every night a new place, a sea of strangers' faces in the dark, a different bed. Curious how easily you returned to it, a way of life you'd almost forgotten, a minstrel's life. But you had the road beneath your feet, your loot across your back, and Mara on your arm. Home is not a place, you thought. Home is by her side. Tilo and Mara, the minstrel and the dancer. On stage you were in harmony, close as ever. In truth, Mara grew ever more distant and withdrawn. She would disappear for hours at a time and come home after dark. Just walking, she said, alone with her thoughts and memories. Bryn was never spoken of. So one more to go. Also, I do still have two books that I have not read. I read Unquiet Waters. But I think these two ones I never read. Got them at like pretty much the very beginning of the game. But I'll save those for later since we just read all those other entries. Let's just use a bottle this time. Ah! Obelisk. Feel, steadfast, at her sister's side in battle and in death. This loops around to this place. Yeah, so you can get from the harbor to here and then from here to the shore. Okay, cool. So all the obelisks should be somewhere around here. Oh, wait. Oh, there's one over here. Hello. Clin, unyielding like the oak, gentle like the willow. So let's see which one is next, shall we? Honor the dead. Um, let's see, so there were four in the other part of the forest, so one, two, three, four. And then it looks like the next one here says something something was lost on the northern slopes. Beneath the bridge in the shade of her beloved oak tree, Northern Slopes Oak Tree. Unyielding like the oak, gentle like the willow. So this mentions an oak, so it might be the right one. Okay, yeah, that was the first one. Ooh. I really don't think the mushrooms matter anymore, but maybe. So the next one... What is that letter? H? Something fell inside of Valia's plane, in the light of the setting sun. 
So what was this one up here? Theol. Hmm. I don't think that's a T. Definitely not a T. Silderot, a wit as sharp as any sword. Hmm, I don't think it's that one either, so it's probably this one up here. Ah, look at that. I love those light shafts. Look at how cute we look. Harith. Yes, that must be it. Thought it was an H. Mm-hmm. Seven, eight, nine. So there's three more. I wonder where the third one is. So... The two sisters fought and died together. When day first, beneath the arches, and... The other one just below her. Wendy. Oh, well, that wasn't this one, was it? No, Silderot. And I don't think this up here was Wendy either, so the one that I'm missing, I think, must be Wendy. And this is probably their sister that died shortly after. Theol. Yeah, steadfast at her sister's side. Yeah, so where's the other one? Oh, here it is. I was just wandering around grabbing some mushrooms. Yeah, just kind of like off the beaten path up here. And it looks like it's right here. Actually, just right above their sister. Yeah, it doesn't have the name there, but definitely Wendy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just ran out of candles. No. That was my last candle. I still need to light one. <laughs> Where am I going to find a candle? Okay, got pretty lucky. The uh, armory actually had a chest with a candle in it. Ooh, getting all these uh, midnight mushrooms. Okay, this should be the final one. Nothing remembered ever truly dies. My comrades will live on in memory. I'm grateful to you for this kindness. Pray, take this. May it provide you illumination without end. You find yourself holding a curious lantern, burning with a bluish flame. When you look again, the ghost is gone. Oh. Is that a source of unlimited light? Cool, I think it is. Yeah, it's not burning up or anything. And it looks really neat too. Look at that bluish flame, although it does look like it's burning literally my entire face. <laughs> it looks really, really dangerous and painful, but it's still cool looking. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit hard to get the right angle on it, but if you sprint with it, it looks like you're leaving behind, like you're running so fast, you're leaving behind a blue flame. <laughs> that is so cool. Not sure it provides much light, though. Let's go into this cave here. Let's see. Let's do a light test. Yeah, I don't think it's anywhere near as much as the lantern. Oh, no. Nowhere near as much. How about compared to a candle? I think it's even less than the candle. I guess that's understandable. It is unlimited after all. Still super cool though. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
And when I return, I am going to return to Silas and give them the ring.